Good morning guys, welcome to a new vlog. I'm just feeling in the vlog spirits today and getting my hair done, but it's not gonna be like a big deal. She's just doing like a shadow root gloss something. Um, I don't really know <laughs> to be honest, so it's not gonna be like a hair transformation or anything, but I am gonna vlog because I want to and It'll be fun and I don't know, hair vlogs are just so fun and I like filming it, so I'm gonna film it. I am just gonna get ready real quick because every time I get my hair done, I like to like take pictures. I'm gonna pre-film a couple videos. Sorry, the lighting's like really weird. I'm actually using a different mirror today. I just wanna like pre-film a couple videos so I have some in the bag so when I feel lazy, I can just throw up whatever video I have pre-filmed and stuff. So that is why I just wanna kinda like get ready today and then I'll get my hair done and then I'll like look, you know, good for the camera and everything like that. She's not gonna be drying my hair even though, okay, so I washed my hair because she says it's like better to work with clean hair so I totally respect that. Like I wouldn't want people coming to like my salon with like dirty hair. So I washed my hair as you guys can see and um, she's gonna do like whatever she's gonna do and then um, she's not gonna dry it cause like she charges extra I think for drying. Like I noticed that. So um, I was like, oh, I'll just dry it when I get home. Cause like her studio is like five minutes, not five minutes, it's like 15 minutes away from my house. So it's not like that far. It's not like I have to go to downtown Orlando. Thank goodness, cause like, or Winter Park. Like I love going down there and it's like cool, but like my nails are down there, cycle bars down there, works down there. And it's like, you know, that takes a good two bars off my gas, which I don't really wanna pay for, especially now. So I'm glad that her like place is like pretty close to where I'm at. Uh, I just told her, I'm like, since I live close or whatever, like I can just dry my own hair when I get home, which is true. And then like how I'm gonna curl it today is with the flat iron because I really like doing that. I liked the way it looked. And now since I've already done it once, I think it'll turn out like better, let's hope. Guys, what I kinda wanted to talk to you guys about when I was doing my makeup. The KK and Baby J lawsuit Holy cow. I wasn't gonna make a full video about this cause like, I don't know, like there's not like a big thing to talk about. I'm not gonna like comment on anything cause like I don't know and like I don't wanna get sued. So like clearly I'm not, but I'm just gonna tell you I read through <laughs> the 57 pages of like the complaint. Um, It's like public so it's not like, you know, there's any documents that like aren't allowed for like public, whatever. And it's so funny too, because like, since I work at a news station, like I see things like papers like that like, a lot of the time because I have to do like graphics, like pull out line 47 on page uh, 12. Like I know how to do that. Like I know how to like read those things. So like, it was just like interesting, but I want to know your guys' opinion on it. Do you have one? Like, I just think it's like incredibly interesting. And like it, it, gives you a little bit insight into like what another person's like view and experience was like i mean according to them like so i just find it to be like like whoa interesting i think i am good with the foundation i'm just taking a bit longer because since the lighting isn't that good here it's like hard to tell okay am i getting everything it's so annoying when you have like a zit underneath your nose, like in the crease of it, like right here. But it's not like a full pimple. Crazy, crazy. Guys, this blush, I don't know. I like it, but like a little goes a long, long way. And you just have to be extremely careful, which sometimes I'm not. But sometimes I just put too much on and then I feel like I really look like a clown. So I'm hoping that today it turns out well. I think it is turning out okay. I just don't like having too much. Cause when you have too much, you just look like you have a fever or something. I think that's good. It's light enough. Maybe I'll do one more dab. I do like it cause I like using the sponge. 
and I like doing all like the liquid stuff one time. Today I'm using my Laura Mercier translucent powder because this is just like easier to use at home. The other one I kind of want to save for like when I'm traveling or whatnot. So I think I'm going to just speed this up, but I wanted to just like ask you guys your opinion on that, on the lawsuit. Like, did you look at any of the documents? Like, I don't know. I'm just like that type of person where like, I'm just curious. I am just going to speed the rest of this up because I don't want it to just be like doing my face makeup the entire video, even though like I love, like I say this in every one of my like little get ready with me videos. I absolutely love get ready with me's because they're just so relaxing. It's like a podcast almost and it's just, I enjoy watching them. I know that I don't want this entire video to be like just me talking. So I'm going to speed this up. And this is the completed look and I think it turned out pretty well. The brows, like this one was giving me like a hard time, but overall turned out well. Need to get on the road so I'm not late. For lunch, I think I'm gonna have a, um, a little Starbucks because um, I'm pretty much on my own for dinner. So I'm just going to have some Starbucks and then probably have like just a salad and turkey, the usual for dinner. So yeah, gonna get on the road now. All right, so we're back at Jasmine's. She got an espresso, so I'm gonna take a little peek in here. Look at these. I've never actually had like an espresso product, so this will be fun. Alto, oh, I don't even know what this stuff means. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna break it. All right. And then Whoa, that, did that just like fall back in there? Yeah, yeah. like the little Wow, thing. okay, so put it in there. Yeah. Okay, this is a whole experience, man. Okay, cool. twist that, and then, and then you put the cup. I think I just hit it once to heat up. And then it just comes out like a curry. Yeah, Okay. Basically. Cool. Look at that, look at that. This is why you should go to Beauty X Jasmine. <laughs> All right, there's Kelsey and Jasmine over there. Say hi. <laughs> um, anyway, so they explained to me like what I'm actually getting, so a Rude Shadow is kind of just like helping the transition from like my really dark color to the lighter color. And then the gloss, it's more like a toner. So it's just like toning down like the warmth of the hair, which is good. Like I'm glad I'm doing this because after a while and like letting your hair like get so brassy, it takes like more work in the future, which is good. Also, this is really good coffee. It's very like rich tasting. I don't know what, how else to say it, but it's really good. And yeah, that's pretty much it for right now. It's gonna be a quick appointment and yeah. So next time I think I'm gonna do like a treatment where it like brightens up my the blonde pieces, which it'll be nice too. Okay, so hair is done. You can't really like see it, but it's definitely like a lot more cooler toned. It looks amazing. She put in this like nice braid. I like that because she didn't want me to just like come out with like a big wet hair mob on my head so that was really nice um i think i'm gonna get starbucks now um just because i'm out and like why not <laughs> honestly that's like my my quote now i don't know guys it's just so therapeutic and it's so fun getting my hair done it's one of those like self-care things like if anything has to go before the hair like nails i can go without getting my nails done i love it it's more like a luxury to me but like hair is just one of those things that i love so much and like jasmine and kelsey are just like so nice and i just get along with them really well i will always get my hair done like i really feel that like even if you know i'm like living in my car or whatever i'm just kidding guys um i would definitely like always put a priority on getting my hair done because i love it that much also she gave me a water again i love these things um the metal bottles like really cool which is really nice of her um so oh my gosh look like that fits in the small little cup holder thing that's kind of funny gotta edit the video and get it up for today i don't know how good of a vlog it is to be honest like i just don't know i don't know this is just my life and yeah okay so i got my 
big drink. This is a venti iced chai tea latte with three pumps of vanilla and seven pumps of chai. I like it a little extra strong like with the chai so that's why I get that. And then I got my normal, ow, I just like hit my thumb. <laughs> I was trying to put this in my bag, but I got my normal egg bites. I'm not going to eat them in the car um, because number one, they're really hot. And number two, it looks like it's just gonna like downpour right now. So I wanna get home and like get inside before that happens. I am not about to go out in this weather. It's currently weather alert day because it is the weather's just like kind of crazy so gonna go home then i'm gonna enjoy this and spend the rest of this rainy day like probably doing chores vlogging pre-filming and stuff like that you just look at these beauties Oop. they kind of got squished there so just gonna enjoy it lunch now and then we'll see where the day takes us good thing i miss the rain, so that's a plus. Okay guys, so I just dried my hair and this is what it looks like. Doesn't look too much different, but like in person, on camera, it doesn't look that much different. But in person, it's a lot more like subtle up here. And then it is um, like a cooler tone. So that's what I did today. And that's what the hair looks like. I just wanna show you guys. I know to you all, it probably doesn't look different, but it's fine. I am going to get to editing and posting my video now. Um, cause I still haven't uploaded Saturday's video, like a week ago's video. So I have to do that and then I'm gonna like curl my hair and then film stuff. Whew. Today feels productive. Today feels like a good day. I'm just gonna powerhouse through today and hopefully, um, I can get stuff filmed and just be productive on the YouTube side of things. And already this vlog just seems fun, so I hope you guys are enjoying it. Okay guys, so I'm going to do my hair now. I edited the vlog, but I think I'm gonna film a different video because even though I touched on this vlog, like the KK and Baby J lawsuit, uh, allegedly, I don't know, there's like documents, so I don't know. But I think I wanna make a video on it, number one, because my views are like not doing well. And like, as a YouTuber, you just need that, you need some juice. I will always support them, like, I mean, not like financially, but I mean like, I enjoy their content and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And I think their kids are cute, so like, I'm not like, one of the like, the haters, but I just wanna like, you know, talk about it, like, I don't know, just like my thoughts. I don't know any facts or anything. Um, but the documents are like public, so it's not like, I mean, you can look for yourself, like I said. But I kind of want to talk about it because like, this is like a family that I've been following for like so long. If someone were to quiz me on like something, like I would, for with the stuff that they put out, like I could answer the question. The stuff that they don't put out, obviously I couldn't answer any questions. But yeah, it's just, I don't know if I made a video on OK Baby and I like barely watched them. I only like knew of them. Like I should really make a video on like people that I actually follow. I don't know, but it's not gonna be like a hate or trolling video. It's just like I want to know people's like opinions and like thoughts on it. So I don't know. I just want to, and that will is like so surprising as like someone who has followed them for a while. The video that I just edited is going up on Tuesday because I think I wanna put out this video today because as you guys know, like timing on YouTube is like everything. Also, I wanted to tell you guys, there is so much happening that I really wanna share and I've never thought I was gonna be the one to say this. Um, there's so much I wanna tell you guys, but I just can't. But like, I really can't because of like, certain things 
I just don't feel comfortable sharing online just yet. Um, I will share that I heard back from the surgical tech program that I wanted to join and everything. And I still want to join it, like obviously, but like I hadn't heard from them for like months. So I was like, okay, maybe that's a sign that like it's not meant for me. Like they never sent anything like confirming, like we got your, all your papers you submitted. So this one thing I can share that they got back to me and they wanted to know if the people that were in the email like are still interested because of high demand and volume and I was like yes I'm still interested so sorry guys I was just getting my clippy but I was like yeah I'm still interested and please put me on the list for people who are still interested because I am and everything like that so that's one thing I can tell you guys and I'm super excited about so hopefully like maybe they'll <laughs> get back to me for like an interview or something because that would be awesome another fun thing is coming down the pipeline but I just can't talk about and then the other thing that I cannot wait to tell you guys is like also like a really super exciting and half the time I don't even know if I'm doing this right I am doing the straightener thing I don't think I had the hair like gripped right all right but anyway there's two things that I really really want to share with you guys but I just can't but you'll eventually like find out but it's just like the surgical tech thing like if that didn't work out and I already like shared it with you guys for my with my big life update video it'll look stupid so that I now I know why youtubers are all like I have exciting news but I can't like share it it's really annoying I get it now because I'm in that situation anyway enjoy this little time lapse as I struggle to do my hair like this and I have to like kind of hurry, not hurry, but like I want to talk about that video and we'll talk about that topic for a video. Then I have to edit the video and then quickly upload it because like today's an upload day. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, enjoy the time lapse. Okay guys, so I just got done filming my video about KK and Baby J and I, honestly I feel like I just repeated myself a lot so I pointed in the direction of this vlog so because I think I said like some stuff that's different but I don't know anyway I'm going to edit this and try to get it up I'm a little nervous about posting this because like I don't know but I made videos on like other things and like this is actually a family like I watch so we'll see Okay, so we're a little backed up here with the uh, video. Um, it's gonna be up a little late because our internet's out. Our internet's out. We had a really bad storm and now yeah. it's out. Oh, we're hoping to come back up here real soon. I need She's to get back just to work. Folding towels and waiting for the internet to come back. Plus of being work at home. I think I'm gonna pre-film another video while we're waiting um, and then we'll see if I have internet or not. I'm still posting this video. Everything's almost ready. It's just like we're just waiting for the internet, obviously. So I'm going to pre-film this video. I don't know when it's going to go up, to be honest, but it's about vlogging and materialism and like my thoughts. Uh, I have to change my shirt because like I like wearing different things for videos. And then I am, if the internet's still not up, then I'm just going to like read. I'm going to take off this lipstick because it's so uncomfortable, even though I like it. It's like uncomfortable. So I'm gonna take out the lipstick and then I'll like read, probably have another cup of coffee. We drink decaf here just cause my mom likes to drink decaf, but it's just like a rainy cold day, which I don't want to do anything, but I'm actually, I've actually had such a productive YouTube day and I haven't had one of these in a long time because I've been lazy. I've had to do taxes, which I was like regretting, like not regretting, but like, like it was like, pulling teeth to do that last weekend. So I just was like really lazy on the YouTube front. So I've been needing a good like content creation day and it's been a good day today. And I am trying to meet my goal. Like now I know why Instagram, that's what I wanted to make. I'm gonna make that video too. I think I'm gonna do that before the materialism video. I'm trying to reach my real goals, my reels view goals on Instagram because I didn't get paid the $52. So that's a little frustrating. And now I understand why the only thing I see on my timeline is a reels and it's so freaking annoying. But you know what, if Instagram is going that route, like I guess to hell all with the feed. All right, 
that's what I'm gonna film. I knew I had to write this down on my notes app, which I never, which I always forget to write down on the notes app of my phone. But yeah, I wanted to talk about Instagram reels. That is something that I need to talk about. Guys, what a day. Okay, Sherry, what? get in here. <laughs> She's doing the laundry. This is a miraculous day. It's a miracle. Come here. Do you want this dried or hung up? That could be dried, but whatever. It's hanging up now. Sherry, come yes. here. Okay, I'm here. Tell them. Okay, so we have had over years issues <laughs> with a local fast food restaurant. It was Panda Express. I did a whole live. Okay, and they never had teriyaki chicken. They were yeah. always out of something. Always. But during the pandemic, and especially in the last year, even after they reopened full time, they never had teriyaki chicken. <laughs> Ever. We'd go there and they even permanently hung up this little sign on the outside that was sent temporarily unavailable. Yeah. So we'd just drive by and laugh. So today, Alex said, oh. Let's just try. Let's just try it. Just I mean, it's on. April. I should have gone on April Fool's Day. should have gone on April Fool's Day. But we went. Yep. There was no sign. There was and no sign. And there was teriyaki chicken. So we go into a Panda Express haul. <laughs> okay. So first off, we got the teriyaki chicken bowl. She looks like this. And they even gave me like a fortune cookie. Like, come on guys, like look at that. And we got the teriyaki sauces. And the girl, she was like, oh, well we were having chicken shortages in our warehouse. I'm like, thank you for like being honest. Like, come on. Anyway, gonna enjoy this. So happy, not forgetting to vlog the food. And they had white rice too. Woohoo! Closing out the video, guys. Just wanted to have the mothers pop in here for a minute. Hello. <laughs> Poor Sherry. Hello, I am fixing dinner. Yay. But I'm not gonna vlog it because uh, I'm ending this to edit it, so. Oh, so you're not saying this? Well, I mean, see? I'm just showing you so you can be make an appearance. Hi. We're having shake and bake Hello. chicken, and then we're having corn and green beans, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.